the urison metrization theorem in the last section we proved that every ticon of space is embeddable in a cube in this section we shall topologically characterize the subspaces of hilbert cube that is we shall find necessary and sufficient conditions under which a space can be embedded into the hilbert cube theorem a space is embeddable in the hilbert cube if and only if it is second countable and t3 by previous theorem we know that every subspace of the hilbert cube is second countable and metrizable but we also know that every metrizable space is t3 by another theorem combining these two results we can say that so whenever a space is embeddable in the hilbert cube it can be regarded as a subspace of the hilbert cube hence by applying these two theorems we can conclude that the space will be second countable and t3 thus we have proved the necessity of the condition for sufficiency power assume that the space is second countable and t3 but we know that every second countable t3 space is normal now since the space is second countable it will have a countable base for the corresponding topology so now let us consider b a countable base for our space since b is countable we can enumerate b as set b1 b2 b3 etc where in case b is finite we repeat some member of base b infinitely often now let capital i be defined as the collection of all ordered pairs mn element of n cross n such that dm closure is contained in dn then i will be a subset of n cross n where n cross n is in fact the cartesian product of two countable sets so n cross n will be countable and i being a subset of a countable set will be countable for each i element of capital i say i equal to ordered pair mn we have the condition bm closure is contained in bn therefore bm closure and x minus bn are two mutually disjoint closed sets hence we can apply urisson's lemma to these two closed sets to get a map say f i from the space x to unit interval such that f i of the first closed set say b m closure is equal to singleton set 0 and f i maps the next closed set x minus b n to 1 we claim that the family f i where i element of the set capital i distinguishes points from closed sets in capital x to prove this claim let us consider a point say small x from the space x and c a closed subset of the space capital x not containing the point small x since small x does not belong to c x will be an element of its complement x minus c where x minus c being the complement of a closed set is open so we have a point small x which is a member of the open set x minus c and we know that family b is a base for the topology on x hence 
using the characterization of bases there will exist some member of our base b or there will exist some index say n element of n such that x element of dn a particular member of our base b such that dn is contained in the open set x minus c now by regularity of the space x x element of bn will imply that there exists an open set say g such that x element of g and its closure g closure is contained in bn again by the characterization for bases there will exist some member of our base b such that x element of that member and that member will be contained in this open set g or we can say that there will exist some index say m element of n such that x element of dm a basic element and dm is contained in the open set g then we can see that x element of dm dm is contained in g and we know that g will be contained in g closure and we have assumed that g closure is contained in bn and this will definitely imply that bm which is always a subset of bm closure and since g closure is a closed set containing bm and as bm closure is the smallest closed set containing bm we can say that bm closure will be contained in g closure and we know that g closure is already a subset of bn and this will definitely imply that bm closure is contained in bn and hence we can say that ordered pair mn will be a member of i now let us label ordered pair mn as small letter i then corresponding function fi which is defined from x to unit interval satisfy the condition f of bm closure equal to singleton z0 and fi maps x minus b n to 1 since x element of bm and bm is contained in bm closure we can say that fi of x is also equal to 0 also since bn is contained in x minus c c is a subset of x minus bn therefore for any point y of c y will belong to x minus bn and hence fi of y will be equal to 1 using this fact as fi of x minus bn is equal to singleton z1 we arrive at this conclusion thus fi of x does not belong to fi of c in unit interval and we know that fi of c is also equal to closure of fi of c since singleton sets are closed thus we have proved that the family fi separates points from closed sets since x is at even space all singleton sets are closed and hence the family fi where i element of capital i distinguishes points as well thus we can see that 
all conditions of the embedding lemma are satisfied and hence we can conclude that corresponding evaluation map e which is defined from x to closed interval 0 1 raised to i is an embedding since i is the index set corresponding to this family of functions thus we have proved that the space x is embeddable in the hilbert cube as i is a countable set the following corollary is known as urison's metrization theorem it states that a second countable space is metrizable if and only if it is T3. For the proof, consider a second countable space X. First assume that X is metrizable. We already know that every metrizable space is T3 even if the space is second countable or not. It will be T3. Therefore, the space capital X is T3. For the converse part, assume that X is T3. We already know that every second countable T3 space is embeddable in the Hilbert cube. Therefore, X is embeddable in the Hilbert cube or in other words, X is homeomorphic to a subspace of the Hilbert cube. Since Hilbert cube is metrizable and metrizability is a hereditary property, X will be metrizable. Hence, the result follows. Thus, whenever a second countable space is T3, it is also metrizable. Definition Let X be a topological space, then a family U of subsets of space x is said to be locally finite if and only if for each x element of capital X where x is a neighborhood n of small x which intersects only a finitely many members of u. This is the definition of locally finite families. Definition let x be a topological space then a family v of subsets of x is said to be Sigma locally finite if can be written as the union of countably many subfamilies each of which is locally finite. For example, every finite family of subsets is locally finite and countable family of subsets is sigma locally finite.